happy to be with all of you to celebrate the 15th annual Hedy's Music Awards. But before I go any further, I just have to call out, first of all, the saxophone hub who were up there who were fabulous. But also, what an amazing string quartet. I think that everyone here would agree with me that we have never in so many days heard such an inspiring and innovative and creative renditions of our two national anthems. It was fabulous. Congratulations, gentlemen. First, I want to recognize Ayu Amenashan, the CEO of Smooth Production and founder of the Hedy's Awards. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your and your team's hard work putting together this year's awards show and for the great partnership with our U.S. missions here in, in Lagos and in Abuja. I'd also like to acknowledge other esteemed desks, but look around you. I mean, it's really hard to pick them out. There are so many that you might mention, but please do let me thank the, the Honorable Commissioner for Home Affairs from Lagos State Government and members of the Nigerian American diaspora, our American TV and film industry guests, and our friends from MultiChoice and Africa Magic. Thank you so much for being here, and a special welcome to the alumni of the US Government Exchange programs who are here tonight, also some of our favorite people at the US Mission. We've been seeing such tremendous growth in cultural ties between the United States and Nigeria. It's truly the time of Nigeria in America. Last year, Nigerian artists Burnaboy and Wizkid each won a Grammy. Techno and Davido anchored the Coming to America 2 soundtrack. A well-known Lagos Art Gallery, Relay Gallery, opened in Los Angeles. And Nigerian creatives have signed contracts with Amazon Prime and Netflix to produce content for the continent. Taking the Hedys to the United States in 2022 is another example of this vibrant connection. Atlanta is an important choice for this event, symbolizing the growing relationship between the US and Nigerian music industries and the growing popularity of Nigerian music in the United States. The US government has long recognized the role of music in diplomacy with its emphasis on free expression, improvisation, and democratic and collaborative teamwork. Sharing music is one of the best ways to find common ground with people. The appeal of music is truly universal. From the mid-1950s through the 1970s, many American jazz greats traveled the globe as music envoys under the sponsorship of the US Department of State. Musicians like Louis Armstrong and Dave Brubeck and Duke Ellington, Benny Goodman and Woody Herman all performed on tours supported by the United States government. We still send musicians overseas as cultural ambassadors today, but instead of focusing on jazz, it also includes artists from all the other genres of American music, such as hip hop and gospel and bluegrass. The flagship music exchange is American Music Abroad, which has sent more than 50 bands to more than 100 countries since 2011. In March, we welcomed American classical pianist Pauline Yang to Nigeria, where she held master classes and performances in Abuja, Lagos, and Ibadan. And we're so looking forward to hosting the Morehouse College Glee Club in June. I know that this year's Hedy's Awards will highlight not only these burgeoning musical ties, but the vast potential of Nigerian musicians as global cultural exporters. In closing, I look forward to meeting you all this evening as we celebrate our strong partnership and enjoy some amazing Nigerian music. Thank you for being here and enjoy the evening.